Hello everyone and welcome again to my channel. Uh, I'm Frank and I'm up to Mystic for you and I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Um, want to remind you too, if you're uh, new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, great to see you again. And uh, ask you while you're here, please, if you would like what you're seeing and hearing, I hope you'll be able to hit that like thumbs up thing and the subscribe button, hope you'll subscribe. Uh, the notification button if there's one on your screen and also please feel free to make a comment because I will I will absolutely return your comments so want to welcome you again today we're talking all things numerology again and we're narrowing our focus to the subject of your birth numbers in our initial videos I talked pretty much about the meaning of each of the individual numbers especially correlated to the letters of your name and I did mention the fact that the birth path is also a place where these numbers have their powerful, powerful effect on our lives. Today we're going to focus on the birth path. That's the birth month, the birth day, and the birth year that you are born in. And uh, we're going to try to expand on understanding what the addition of these numbers together add up to for you, which is called the destiny number. So it is the coded message for your life's journey in this incarnation. Your name, as we mentioned in the first videos, your name is your cosmic resume with the listing of all the energies and experiences and vibrations you have encountered in previous incarnations. Now, this birthday number, your birth path, our destiny total number is the code for this particular incarnation. So you have to find out what experiences you're going to encounter in this lifetime and what the overarching purpose or call for your destiny listing is in the total addition of those numbers to a grand master scheme, which is the overarching energy of your lifetime journey. So let's go ahead and begin uh, just talking about the numbers themselves. It's pretty obvious that uh, you take your birth month, your birthday, and your birth year. But as again, in numerology, we always reduce double digits, triple digits, or longer digits into single digit vibrations in order to understand their impulse. Uh, I have our state of the art chart to give you a sample of what this birthday uh, scheme looks like for you, uh, for anybody. What you need to do, I'm putting on my glasses here, and this time I do not digress. We're putting on our glasses here with my state-of-the-art paper here, and you can see what you do is you basically take the birthday. Here I've manufactured a birthday of June 6th, 1966. Now, substitute that on your piece of paper with your own birthday. And what you do is that you, uh, excuse me, I put June 15th, 1966 because uh, I was looking at this bottom six here. Uh, anyway, take each individual number, six, and then plus one plus five in this case, plus one plus nine plus six plus six, and you add them all together. So each one under each column, you can see right here that the first six becomes the straight six. In the second situation, the 15 is reduced to a six. One plus five is six. And then what you get in this third one for 1966, one and nine and six and six adds up to 22. And in numerology, 22 is a master number. We usually don't reduce it, but let's assume that we're gonna reduce it for the sake of simplicity and it reduces to the number four. So now what we do when we have our single digit vibrations is we add six plus six, plus four, and in this case, it adds up to the number 16, which reduces in numerology to one plus six, seven. So for this birthday, June 15, 1966, the destiny number is the number seven, okay? And I'll explain each of these destiny numbers in detail after you've done your own number addition, okay? Now, also, you'll see I have this additional information which I'm not gonna cover in detail in this video. I'm gonna do it in other videos, okay? But each of these numbers, your birth month, day, and year, is considered a cycle of your life. It's a cycle of your life. 
so that the first cycle begins in your earliest years of existence and then you move into the middle part of your life and then the final part of your life and each of these numbers during this transit has the influence over the experiences you're going to have during that part of your life but uh, as I explained to most people the destiny number I like to use the analogy of a house the destiny number is like the cosmic address of this lifetime, okay? The vibration you're supposed to learn. So in this case, let's say it's the number seven. So you're living at the house with the address seven and that energy in place for this lifetime. And then each of those cycle numbers is a different room of that house. And it's painted a different color. It's got different furnishings. It's getting a different style. And during the transit of each of these cycles, you spend a part of your life in that room, which is representational of a vibration of that room. And then when that cycle has tapped out and you're ready to move into the next cycle, you move into the next room with its own particular energy vibration, its own color pattern, its own furnishings and decorations, its own stylistic qualities. So un technically you're going to be living in these three rooms of the house at this overall address, number seven, using this example, of course. Uh, the bathroom is probably outside because, uh, you know, there isn't enough room in the house for the bathroom. But that's okay. These three rooms are enough for you to learn what the heck you got to learn in this lifetime. So, understanding that, that this is the code that unlocks the kinds of experience you have over the course of your lifetime with the overarching aim of mastering the destiny number, the total number, that final outcome added together all those other sub vibrations during the different cycles that add up to the master number, okay, uh, of your personal destiny. So, I hope you've calculated your number. Uh, you could go back and rewind the video to kind of check that out, but it's pretty simple. But knowing that, let's go back now and I'll tell you about what each number of destiny means for you if it shows up as the total destiny number on your chart, okay? If your birth and path numbers all add up to the number one, reduced from a 19, a 28, a 10, whatever, they reduce to number one. Your destiny will be a destiny of individual activity. No, one is the number of the self. It's the masculine principle. It is the agent of activity, the generative force in life. If you have a one destiny, your life will be a unique, very unique journey in which you're gonna find that your great success and your great experience come at the force of your own choices, of your own will. It's the number of developing your willpower, your force of purpose, your singularity of activity, okay? Uh, it's a very challenging and powerful number, giving you a great opportunity to make your own path through life to define your own way of doing what you need to do to get you the things you want, the things you have to learn in this lifetime. You'll find that most of your success comes, or whether you want that or not, depending on other numbers in your name, whether that success comes on your own efforts in spite of other barriers, you have to overcome barriers with the number one. Number one, finds its own way to develop the strength and the courage and the fortitude to move forward in life against odds, against obstacles. You will find yourself traveling alone in a lot of ways. It may feel like a very lonely journey sometimes, but this is what this destiny is meant for you. It is meant for you to understand your own self, your own ego, your own force as a force for positive growth and evolution over the course of your lifetime. And if you find it, you will make a huge, if you find that courage to live your life manifesting positively and not negatively, you can find you can achieve wonderful things for yourself, that you will discover a, a total unique world that is made up of you and all the things that matter to you and that will, you will find a way of expressing himself to bring about your personal fulfillment, but only on your terms and against the uh, other energies that try to dissuade you from your own personal path. So that's the destiny number of one. Number two, as we have said in the previous reading, number two is its corollary of one. If number one is the active principle, number two is the passive or feminine principle. If you have number two on your birth path, that means you are here to learn 
not to be the generative agent of your activity, but to be a partnering energy, to be the perfect partner, whether it's in a marriage, in a relationship, in an enterprise, in a organization, you are going to find your greatest success, not by being the initiating force of your own life's actions, but by being attractive force, a receiving force for the opportunities that prevent themselves. Your greatest fulfillment and satisfaction will come through your partnering with other energies who you have affinity with, and you will always be the force there to support and lend the extra hand for the sake of the total achievement of the goals. In your life, destiny will be to learn sensitivity, grace, to be to be to learn to let go more of ego and find fulfillment in partnership and becoming uh, the associate in the action and the fullness. But the, and it'll be a very emotional journey. Number two is the is a very sensitive energy, which which is great for creativity, for uh, for for beauty, for understanding and expressing the beautiful in all you do. The the way you dress, the way environments you create for yourself and the people you love. It'll be, if it manifests as a master number 11, because 11 is one of the master numbers along with the number 22, like I mentioned earlier on the example birthday. 11 as a master number, if you manifest it like that, it could be a destiny of great inspired thought and action. You could be someone who uh, creates a whole new paradigm of understanding of art or uh, beauty or uh, things relating to aesthetics or harmonizing in the world. Harmonizing is a big element of the number two. So it's a beautiful energy, but oftentimes if you haven't had that on your birth path before, you can find it being a very challenging energy to master in this lifetime because it means surrender of ego in order to achieve one's own personal fulfillment. Again, the sort of the feminine process, the male acts, the female is there to receive and fulfill the energy of that number number one. Okay. So that's destiny. Number, number two, if you have a three as the t final number of your destiny reduced from 21, 30, uh, 12, uh, it reduces all to the number three. Number three is the destiny of expression. You are going to be put in situations where you are going to be in the spotlight. You are going to be the main force of beauty and action. It's the number of communication. It's the number of uh, expression on all levels using language. It's the number of all forms of communication and grace, but it means you will be thrust into the limelight, into the center stage. You are being asked by destiny to come forward and be an inspiration of, of expression and grace and beauty for other people. You will always be the centerpiece in any social environment. You should welcome that and embrace it. If you shied away from the limelight in the past, this is the time for that energy to step forward and shine. Number three is a beautiful number of expression, grace, and performance in social situations, in artistic settings, in uh, dramatic settings. It, 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 it gives you the chance to put into language or some other form of expression the grace and the inner beauty of your own spirit and soul and share it with others through the media you choose to express it through. So that's a beautiful destiny number. And if you have it, it should be a very rewarding, fulfilling life filled with great opportunities to enjoy great pleasure and social activity and a chance to shine as the center of attention in every, uh, every opportunity that is presented to you. Okay, let's move to the number four destiny. Number four. If you reduce from 31, uh, 22, which is a master number. And again, when I say the master number, I'll get back to that. 13, anything that reduces to four means this is a destiny of your nose to the grindstone. It's a, no, it's a destiny of work and discipline and uh, effort. Um, it's the number of the builder. If you've been high in the sky or have much more nuanced and subtle energies, it may be a different incarnation this time because you're going to have to find a way to get down and roll up your sleeves and do the work. It's the number of work, hard work, discipline, uh, organized, meticulous thought, endurance, precision, and most of all, accomplishment and practicality on the earthly plane. So it's a, it, uh, 
Oftentimes, like I said, uh, people who in past lives have avoided hard work uh, because maybe they've had the other people do things for them or they just rather not face the, you know, the, the real down and dirty giving of an effort and sweating of the top of the brow, you know, it could be a challenge, but it'll allow you to build a great personal empire for yourself. You'll be down to earth. You'll be able to master all the elements that make living in a practical reality much more fulfilled and complete and solid. It's about solidity. It's the number of the elements. It's the number of the seasons. It's the number about matter that is the foundation of all existence. Okay, so you have to learn to manifest those qualities and learn to endure and to fight through and work toward your objectives. And it will all, your success or failure will be built on your capacity to work and discipline yourself. Now, if you express as mastery number 22, that means working and achieving and accomplishing huge practical enterprises on an international scale. So uh, if you're manifesting or have the opportunity, that means you're gonna, your efforts will go global, that, that through your global reach of your own mastery of hard work and discipline and, um, and the willingness to navigate the systems of the world in order to bring enterprise and action to the, on a global scale, you will see this huge, huge accomplishment in your life of being able to affect international events or to a touch the lives of people around the globe through the mastery of that number, but always in a physical mastery way, creating a system or paradigms which will affect the way people around the world relate to one another or interact through systems. So it's a, it's a, a rare number and it's a real privileged number to have the capacity to manifest that way. If you don't manifest it, it'll reduce to a simple number four and you'll be doing menial drudgery work most of your life. And that'll be how you not to say that that's bad, but it's what you're here to learn if the number four is your destiny number. Okay? Number five is the number of man. It's the number of the senses. It's the number of chance. It's the number of experience. Okay? So if you have a name, uh, I mean, a destiny number that ends in the number five, uh, reduced from 23, 32, 14, uh, it, it means that your destiny is great opportunity for expansion and travel and change. You will, your life will be a great adventure filled with Un unexpected turns and twists, uh, broad contacts with other human beings and experiences, the opportunity to travel, the opportunity to move from one part of society into another one and, and try new sensory opportunities. It's a chance to explore sensory experience. Perhaps anything relating to the senses is emphasized here. Uh, cooking, eating, uh, touch, sexuality, um, auditory things, anything that nourishes itself or is expressed through sensory engagement and, and, and that with broad appeal across the, the human condition. Uh, and it could be brought about through random chance, through directed will, but the key word in your destiny is change. You're gonna, life is gonna change. Be ready for it, embrace it, open your heart, mind, and spirit to the opportunities presented by change. And it'll be a, an amazing adventure and a journey you take uh, from beginning to end. Uh, it, and, and, and the twists and turns will come and they will manifest in accordance with those cycle numbers, which will, uh, which again, are those different rooms I'm telling you about that will show you what the nature of those opportunities Opportunities to explore and experience human experience in its breadth, uh, in different capacities and in different arenas of activity predicated on what those cycles will present. But the overarching experience is change, change, change. So keep an open mind, embrace it, open your heart to it, and it'll be an exciting ride for you and everyone who comes along on it with you. So that's destiny number five. Let's try destiny number six. Number six is the number of duty and responsibility. And it is a powerful, powerful number for servant, for service, service to men, service to humanity, service to a cause, service to a family group or a clan. Uh, it's the number of the parent. It's the number of the nurturer. It's the number of the burden bearer. It's the number of the person who takes on the responsibility, is capable of it, has a great capacity to be, to take on the burdens, not only of themselves, but of, of those thrust upon them by fate, 
circumstance, other human beings, the willingness to, to be of service to others. And therefore the nurturing energy will, uh, will always be at the forefront on the destiny of number six. So, okay, sorry about that. Uh, my camera taps out after 20 minutes, so I apologize for that. Anyway, finishing up the number six, the number six is an amazing energy of great sacrifice and, and beauty and goodness for the greater good of humanity. It's a very difficult burden to carry through life when you're on the destiny of a number six, but the rewards are magnificent and you will find yourself blessed and protected by what I said again, the high protection, which means you will be surrounded by love and nurturing and, and blessings because you have been willing to take on those circumstances and you will achieve great, great things in service to others, whether it's a cause, whether it's nurturing a family, your fulfillment will come through that sacrifice and that sense of duty and obligation. And it is oftentimes very frustrating and very challenging because oftentimes burdens that you do not go seeking find you out and they impose themselves upon you. But it takes the courage and the grace and the generosity of self that the six represents to recognize when you're being put upon and still finding the grace and willingness to help someone who is in need of that, you carrying a bit of that burden for them to help them get to where they move, whether it's an individual or a cause or a situation, whatever. The capacity for sacrifice is great and it's a, it's a major, major uh, thing on your shoulders that you are taking through a six destiny, but it's also a very beautiful and rewarding energy and uh, it is one of great, great goodness and uh, uh, it's, it's almost a privilege to, to be able to, to be the person who is turned to and looked up to to be the person to nurture so many other people and to carry on so much responsibility. So that's the destiny of number six. Number seven is the number of metaphysics, number of spirit, the number of deep thinking, of analysis, of science, okay? It's the number of the philosopher. It's the number of the priest, the poet, the mystic. It's also the number of the scientist, the mathematician, the scholar, okay? So anytime you have the number seven on the birth path, it means a journey of self-perfection, of growth, of looking beyond the surface of experience into deeper, deeper experience and seeing the underpinnings and scaffolding of what we see as apparent reality all around us. That's why scientists, they see the universe and yet they reduce him through mathematical formulas and physics and chemistry, and they take that symbolic language and, and translate tangible evidence into theory. And then they take theory and develop new analyses and understandings of the cosmos. And if you're a mystic or a metaphysician or a religious uh, individual working through an orthodox religion, whether it be Christianity, uh, Judaism, or uh, Islam, uh, that is the number of the priest, the imam, the rabbi, the scholar, religious scholar who seeks the deeper truths held in the documents of faith. And so there's always trying to reinterpret, re-deconstruct the understanding of language and symbol and redirecting it into deeper understandings of messages that are held within those components. Uh, if you're the, 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 the mystic or the metaphysician, then you're looking for the deeper spiritual evidence along the trails of experience. You are always deconstructing. I use that word a lot because that's really what it is. It's deconstruction of the apparent reality into symbol, to discover the scaffolding, the symbolic language that really is the paradigm underpinning that props up what we see and think is the only reality. It is understanding that there are deeper layers in all experience and that depending on what your sphere of influence and contact is, the seven number wants to probe, wants to analyze, wants to understand more, wants to discover variations, theories, possibilities, potentialities, and ultimately truths. 
And those truths are on the path of your own insight, wisdom, intuition, and discipline of thought. Um, number seven is a powerful number on a journey of personal growth and perfection to understand one's place in the universe, one's place in reality, one's spiritual place in eternity. So it is a powerful number on a tremendous journey of discovery of self for, for the purpose of growing spirit spiritually, whether that spiritual growth comes through uh, mysticism, uh, religion, or science, the, always the goal is to see the deeper permanent beauty and reality beyond the surface of everything that experience appears to offer humanity in its conscious journey through life. Number seven, very powerful, beautiful destiny. And I have a lot of personal experience with that because that is my destiny number and my life has been this constant journey of discovering not only who I am, what my soul is made of, but what is powering, are the forces powering my understanding of reality. And, uh, and again, you will discover those things on your journey as well, and it will manifest differently for each one of you, depending on what your, fear, your sphere of influence and your preferred direct path toward the discovery of the power of that number will be for you. So enjoy the journey. It's challenging and beautiful and magnificent and will lead you to many, many amazing truths. Okay? Number eight. Number eight is the power number, personal power. It is the doubling of the number four. The foundational number four doubled. So double hard work, double discipline, double capacity in the practical realities of life. Number eights are the people who are put in charge of enterprises. They are executives, executors, administrators, generals, heads of industry, tycoons, business leaders. And it always revolves around the management of money, resources, and people resources, okay? So if number eight is the number of your destiny, life will always find a way to bring you into circumstances where you will maximize your capacity to administer and manage large groups. You have great capacity to oversee large enterprises and to see how to, how to be a great steward of resources for the aim of a healthy organization or of an international concern. And you, in exchange, it it, it implies that the compensation for that will be above and beyond what the normal person manifesting and working at a lower level is achieved. So we have a great capacity to gain personal wealth, personal power, personal assets and resources. It's the number of financiers. It's the number of investment. It's the number of telling you learn to manage money. Money is at the foundation of number eight because it is the number one manifester of personal power among human interaction, okay? It, it's international currency. It is what drives enterprise, goods, the production of goods, a consumption, everything. So the more you master it, the more you're compensated for it, the higher the fulfillment will be in terms of manifesting number eight and its many, many powerful gifts. It also manifests, let's say militarily, as the general or the corporate people who are in charge of large regiments of, of assets, resources, and people, okay? Anyone who is overseeing anything of a major, major institutional nature who is at the head of it, uh, if, if you're involved in a system, number eight is usually somewhere in the birthday or in the destiny number or very prominent in the name, okay? So the destiny of eight is the warnings and the encouragements are Learn about money. Learn to be a good steward of resources. Understand how systems operate, how finance operates, and whether it's in your personal life or as a member of an institution. Everything will hinge on your personal power and your capacity to manage the resources and assets of your own life, whether it's even managing a household or whether you're a private business owner, an individual investor, or the head of industry managing a large corporation, whether or not national, multinational, uh, whatever it may be. Number eight is personal power and authority, okay? So finally we come to the number nine, the final destiny number. Number nine is the number of the universal. It's the number of the humanitarian. People with the number nine are inspired thinkers. 
They are the sacrificers for the sake of humanity. They are the people who see the larger purpose in all human endeavor on an earthly plane. They are here to heal the sick, care for the, the condition of mankind, for the underserved, for the, uh, for the needy, for the um, social justice, for the well-being of humanity. There's great empathy in the number nine. Nines are the martyrs of self for the sake of the benefit of others. Very similar to the number six, but the difference with number nine is that it's a much more selfless, much more universal in its appeal and in its expression. So if you have the number nine on your destiny, you're gonna find yourself in situations where you're going to be in, usually in, in, in encountering experiences and, and jobs and people of like mind who care about causes, who care about the well-being of others. You believe in sacrificing for the betterment of those around you. You're always a, a shoulder to cry on for others or an ear for others to hear uh, their problems and help them heal. What you may find is that uh, oftentimes with a number nine, number nine kind of disappears to the energy of the number coming into contact with it. I mentioned that in my first video. If you take number nine and add it to any other number, you add them together, number nine goes away and you return to the energy of that other vibration. So if it's 17, let's say, uh, I mean, excuse me, number eight, adding to number nine, eight and nine is 17, reducing one and seven is eight. Nine disappears and eight remains. Nine is the mirror of all the other energies. Nine is the totality. Nine is the finisher. Nine is a finishing number also. It is the number of completion and fulfillment. So this destiny number for you is the completion of many incarnations and cycles of activity bringing you to a larger universal plane of understanding. And it's a very uh, emotional thing. You can feel nostalgic. It's a number of great nostalgia. And it will be imbued with sadness because number nine is a completion number where something is coming to an end. But its main purpose, will the fulfillment will come with giving without expectation of recompense or compensation. The blessings come when you give freely and willingly. And number nine is a great gift to mankind and to everyone it comes into contact with. <coughs> nine is loving, caring, giving. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you are on that transit of that number, you can expect the highest vibrations to be manifested in everything you do, and you will do it with inspiration and beauty and grace, and you will have, and it'll probably be global in scale sometimes. People with number nine are international humanitarians oftentimes if other numbers come into play. But always sacrifice, giving, loving, for the purpose of elevating the human condition. It's a very beautiful and selfless vibration oftentimes painful personally, but beautiful if you elevate your thinking. Anyway, that brings us to the end of understanding what our destiny number is. And each of you has a different journey you're on and the components of that destiny, which we'll talk about in another video, uh, the cycles of those number, your birth month, birthday, birth year, will reveal other information and clues about how that overall destiny number will manifest itself. We'll be looking forward to talking more about that in other videos, but I hope this gives you a good sense of this major, major number that is the unlocking code of your reason for being here in this incarnation, what you're meant to learn, what you are meant to master, what you are meant to express, to the world around you through your interaction with it and it'll unfold and unclick like like the, the like the gears in this in the in the lock of a safe each one each cycle will unlock the key to the next cycle which is all part of understanding opening the safe door to the fulfillment of that final destiny number overarching number so anyway Everyone, thank you again for joining me today. I hope uh, I illuminated or gave you an opportunity to give you some insight into a, a really fascinating area of the numerological understanding of language and symbol. And uh, look for more videos. Again, I ask you to please subscribe, 
comment. I will answer the comments if you write them down there. Please hit the notification button and also uh, the like button because those all help this channel grow and I appreciate your indulgence and I hope I'm helping. And one last thing I'd like to ask if I could of you. I have, uh, as I expressed in my previous thing, I am also a poet and I have produced a volume of collected poems called The Au Revoir of an Enormous Us. It is a 480 foot page volume of my complete works of over 50 years of writing poetry. I'm very proud of it. It covers a great range of, of literary subjects, my personal experiences, journeys of imagination, personal histories, literary histories, and other things. And one thing especially meaningful for us who are fascinated by metaphysics is I have one section in there called the arcane reveries, okay? Uh, they are poems and meditations about the tarot cards, which are a key component of the numerological understanding. Oh God, I get this thing all screwed up because I'm going in one direction. But you can see it has displayed each tarot card with its number and then a meditative uh, sketch on the meaning of the card and the, and the expression of the cards. So. If you are into tarot card reading and other forms of literature and writing, I encourage you to check out my book, Kyle, The Au Revoir of an Enormous Us. It's available at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. And I appreciate you doing me the great kindness of checking out my page there, especially on Amazon. I've got an author's page, which tells you a little bit more about my background, uh, my experience as a poet, and uh, and my 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 philosophy about art and beauty and also uh, just existence. So anyway, thank you all so very, very much. You're so kind to be with me and uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Please again, hit the subscribe button and all those other things, the thumbs, the fingers, the, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, and I just want to remind you again, remember you only live once at a time. So thank you very much for joining me today. God bless you all, and I'll see you here in the next video. My best to everyone. Thank you all. Bye-bye.